Hello, everyone. This is Alex Quarius. I just made a new badge at Warmus. And I'm going to show you. Look at that. It's reading 10.73. 10.77. The goal is 10.78. There it is right there, 10.78. This is what victory looks like and feels like. Yeah. This took a lot of manipulation to get it there. I was putting in a sixteenth of a teaspoon. After it passed 9.8, you start slowing down on the lie, and you put in quarter teaspoon, and it gets up to 9.9. .9. Then you put in an eighth of a teaspoon, it goes up. You might go over. If it goes over to 11 or 11.2 or so, you're okay. Just put in another tablespoon of salt. It brings it back down. You play back and forth with the dead sea salt and the lye. So uh, what I've learned is if you overshoot while you're mixing the, this first preparation to hit 10.78, you don't have to toss it out. Just add some salt. Look at that. <laughs> 10, I just calibrated this as well. If you saw in my last uh, video number three, I had this way off of calibration. I wasn't using it right. I was using all this math for the half a degree, or it was actually more, it was like 0.7 off. I just calibrated it, started reusing it. My diet's been pretty acidic actually for the last few months and I'm, I'm gonna go back to a high pH alkaline diet. So I just made this and it's sitting here at 10.75. That's amazing. Now look at this folks. I showed you how to rinse before. When you rinse this, all I'm going to do is use six rinses. I'll put this pH meter away, and I've made it enough to where uh, when you have six rinses, it shuts off automatically. If you have six rinses, um, you have good ormus. You know, so by the time you rinse it six times, your pH is going to be between 9.4 to 9.5, maybe 9.6. But if you're drinking a little bit of this every day, that's fine. You know, if you look up lists of beverages, anything over, I mean, under 10 pH is fine as far as an alkaline drink or a basic drink. Uh, I was just looking up for fun yesterday, uh, a mug root beer is four acidic. RC Cola is still the highest acidic drink, the uh, 2.4 or 2.6, I think it was, 2.3. And you know, even uh, sulfuric and hydrochloric acid are more basic than RC Cola. RC Cola doesn't melt your skin because it's not an acid, doesn't have the elements of an acid. But... Uh, it's a more acidic pH. So anyway, this Ormus, you know, I miss, uh, I've been off it for four or five months now. Since my meter was out of calibration, I just got lazy. But I made it again. I calibrated my meter, and man, I nailed this one right on 10.78. It's going to separate out well. And uh, we'll see how it drops out. What I do is, uh, I've showed you how to rinse it before with my tube in the bucket or the sink. I'll rinse this six times, and when it gets down to where I pour off the sixth rinse, then I'll put it in another container and store it in the refrigerator and start with this vase again and make another batch. Each time I make it... Um, I start in this container because I kind of, I know where the scoops go and the meter and the spoon and the, the water levels in the mix. I don't use a recipe. Remember, when you're making Ormus, uh, you don't need a recipe. This is like panning for gold in a river. All you need to do is flush mud through the screen and gold's going to show up. You don't know how much. If you're lucky, a lot shows up. Same thing with Ormus. You're rinsing minerals Think of it like cleaning rocks. You just flush that water past it and keep the pH at a certain level and it will rinse away the low vibrational minerals and elements that you don't want in your cells. 
to activate your CSF, your cerebral spinal fluid, and your uh, glandular functions, raise your tensile strength, raise your vibration, make you more clairvoyant, more telepathic, uh, more, what would you call it, omniscient in a way. See slightly a few seconds into the future, really predict things, get a feel for things, see auras. But um, I'm about to go out and run some errands, and I'll be back this evening in about five hours. And this should be separated, and then I'll fill it back up. I'll pour off the clear part, pour it, uh, fill it back up, and stir it again. When I get to six, I drink it. I'm not even measuring it anymore. I've done this so many times. I've, you know, I've tried six, seven, eight rinses or more. But... Um, Really, what you, don't, what you want to do is get down to, say, the nine and a halfs in pH. And you also, the main thing is you want to remove the salty flavor. Um, so it just tastes like kind of a pearly chalk flavor instead of a salt flavor. But um, that's it. We will see this beauty later. And uh, I will show you. Thanks for watching. How to Make Ormus 4, signing off.